हेलो वेलकम बैक टुडे आई एम योर विद अ वीडियो ऑन सिंपल इंटरेस्ट वर्सेस कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट इज द एक्स्ट्रा मनी चार्ज ऑन अ लोन वेद द प्रिंसिपल अमाउंट विल बी फिक्स्ड फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम पीरियड इंटरेस्ट इज द एक्स्ट्रा मनी दैट अ बैंक गिव्स फॉर सेविंग और डिपॉजिटिंग मनी विद देम सिमिलरली व्हेन एनीबॉडी बोरोज मनी दे हैव टू पे एन इंटरेस्ट The formula for simple interest is P into R into T by 100, where P is the principal, R is the rate of interest, and T is time in years. Compound interest. Compound interest is the interest calculated on the principal and the interest for the previous period. The principal amount increases with every time period as the interest payable is added into the principal. The formula for amount in the case of compound interest is given by amount equals to p into 1 plus r by 100 to the power n where n is time in years the compound interest is calculated by subtracting the principal money from the amount the basic difference between simple interest and compound interest is that in case of simple interest the interest is always calculated on a fixed principal whereas in the case of compound interest the principal changes per year let's consider an example to learn the basic difference between simple interest and compound interest on your screen you may see principal equals to 1000 rupees rate equals to 10% Let's calculate the simple interest for time equal to one year. We know the formula for simple interest is P R T by hundred. So for time equals to one year, thousand into ten into one upon hundred. Zero zero gets cancelled away, and we are left with hundred rupees. That means after one year, we'll be getting a simple interest of hundred rupees, and amount is nothing but principal plus S I. principal was 1000 uh, rupees and simple interest we are getting as 100 rupees so the amount would be rupees 1100 rupees all right now for time equals to 2 years again applying the same formula prt by 100 1000 into 10 into now the time is 2 years so in place of t we are writing 2 divided by 100 we can cancel the zeros and year We are left with two hundred rupees. That means after the completion of two years, we'll be getting the simple interest of two hundred rupees, and the amount will be what thousand plus two hundred. That gives us rupees twelve hundred. After the completion of two years, we'll be getting the amount twelve hundred. Okay. After three years, again by the same formula, P R T by hundred. That means thousand into ten. Into three divided by hundred. So here we are getting three hundred rupees as the simple interest, and the amount will be thirteen hundred rupees. That is one thousand three hundred rupees. As you can see, every year the interest is calculated on the same principal, thousand rupees. The principal never changes in the case of simple interest. and every year the interest also we are getting 100 rupees see in the first year we got the interest of 100 rupees in the second year also we got an additional 100 rupees the interest for the first year was 100 and in the second year also we got the 100 rupees interest which made up a total of 200 rupees in the third year also we got 100 plus 100 plus 100 that is total for the 3 years for 3 years total interest we got of 300 rupees that means the simple interest also remains the same each year will be getting 100 rupees interest so whatever uh, the interest also remains the same and the amount also see first year the amount we got was 1100 rupees now if we add the interest of 100 rupees in this we will be getting the amount of second year that is 1200 rupees now in this if we add 100 we will get the amount of third year that is 1300 rupees so this is the case of simple interest here two things are to be remembered the first one is the principal remains fixed every year the interest is calculated on this fixed principal okay and the second one is that year 
what do we have to do each year the interest also remains the same every year we are getting the interest of 100 rupees we just have to multiply the interest with the number of years and therefore we can get calculate the total interest compound interest let's calculate compound interest for the same values that is principal equals to 1000 rupees rate equals to 10% and time equals to 2 years suppose in compound interest we can divide the time as 1 year plus 1 year we can write 2 years as 1 year plus 1 year let's calculate the interest for the first year first okay interest for this first year would be prt by 100 that is 1000 into 10 into 1 upon 100 so this comes out to be 100 rupees amount for the first year will be principal plus interest that is 1000 plus 100 this gives us 1100 rupees this is the amount for our first year now in case of compound interest the amount of first year becomes the principal for the next year so when we are taking out the interest for the second year we'll be considering the principal as 1100 so by the formula 1100 into 10 upon 100 zero zeros gets cancelled out and the amount for the second year would be the interest for the second year would be 110 rupees so the amount will be 1100 plus 110 which gives us 1210 that means 1210 will be the amount for the second year in place of doing this step wise we can also apply the direct formula we know the direct formula for calculation of amount in case of compound interest is amount equals to p into 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power t so by putting up the values 1000 into 1 upon 10 by 100 raised to the power 2 00 gets cancelled out we get 1000 into 1 plus 1 by 10 raised to the power 2 this is 1000 into 11 by 10 square so we can write 1000 into sorry we can write 1000 into 11 by 10 into 11 by 10 further on cancellations and simplification we reach the final answer 1200 rupees see here also 1200 uh, 1210 and the previous one in which we have calculated step wise there also we were getting the same thing so this is the direct formula two things which are to be taken into consideration is that compound interest will always be equal to simple interest for time equals to one year if we are calculating the interest only for a single year no matter which formula we apply compound interest or simple interest answer will be same for time greater than 1 year that means for 2 years 3 years etc compound interest will always be greater than simple interest that is because in case of simple interest the principal is always fixed but in case of compound interest the principal changes per year now because the principal is increasing so obviously compound interest comes out to be greater than the simple interest we know the formula of simple interest is prt by 100 and amount is calculated by principal plus simple interest this is the case of simple interest whereas in case of compound interest compound interest equals to amount minus principal and amount is given by p into 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power t
so now for compound interest in our course we have three types of questions first of all we have the direct formula based questions where the principle would be provided to us in the question the rate of interest will also be given the time would also be given we only have to apply the formula directly and calculate the compound interest what is the formula for amount amount equals to p into r by 100 to the power t let's consider an example the values given to us in the example are as follows see principal equals to rupees 10,000 rate equals to suppose 2 percent and time is equals to 2 years ok so by the direct formula we have amount equals to p into 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power t applying the values 10,000 into 1 plus 2 by 100 raised to the power 2 we can take the LCM and solve this bracket this becomes 10,000 into 100 and 2 upon 100 raised to the power 2 so we can write this double times now by cancelling the zeros we are left with 102 whole square ok so what is 102 into 102 we can multiply them thus we have the final answer as rupees 10,404 this is our amount what is compound interest compound interest is amount minus principal so this gives us the value 10,404 minus 10,000 rupees equal to rupees 404 that means we have 404 rupees interest the next type of questions that we'll be having is when the time is given to us in fraction example principal equals 2000 rupees rate equals to 10 percent and time is equals to 2 1 by 2 years this can be solved by the help of two methods let us first consider method number one which is the long method okay in this method what we have to do we have to calculate the amount for the first two years applying the direct formula p into 1 plus r by 100 to the power 2 this becomes 1000 into 1 plus 10 by 100 raised to the power 2 0 to 0 gets cancelled out and after taking the LCM we are left with 1 plus 1 by 10 whole square and this becomes 11 by 10 on cancellation and further solving we reach the answer 1210 this is the amount for the first two years this will become the principal for the next half year okay the amount for the two year will become the principal for the next half year now let us calculate the interest on this principal by the formula prt by 100 p becomes 1210 r is still 10 percent time is half year and again by cancellation we get the answer 121 by 2 which is equals to rupees 60.5 this is the interest for the half year the compound interest for the first two years was what first two years compound interest equals to amount of two years minus the principal that is 1210 minus 1000 rupees that means 210 was the compound interest for the first two years now compound interest for the next half year as we have calculated above is 60.5 rupees so the total compound interest we have for two and a half year as 210 plus 60.5 rupees this becomes 270.5 rupees is the compound interest for this fractional time two and a half years now solving the same question with method number two 
method number 2 is the shortcut method here we have to change the formula okay here what do we do we have to just make a slight changes in our formula again question remains the same principal equals to 1000 rupees rate equals to 10% time equals to 2 and a half this 2 and a half can be written as 2 plus half years okay the new formula becomes amount equals to p into 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power 2 this whole number becomes the power and in the other bracket we'll write 1 plus r into half why half because here we have 2 plus half this fraction gets multiplied in the rate and the whole power is applied on the other bracket so by putting the values and doing our simplifications this becomes 1000 into 11 by 10 into 11 by 10 and this becomes 1 plus 5 by 100 further on simplifying and taking the lcm cancelling the zeros we have 121 in 205 divided by 10 let's multiply 121 with 105 we get the answer as 12705 this when divided by 100 becomes 120 1270.5 this is the amount so compound interest will be amount minus principal that is 1270.5 minus 1000 this becomes 270.5 rupees which is same as what we got in method number 1 so this is the short method here what we have done we have changed the formula as per the situation next we have one of the most important concepts which is when the interest is compounded on half yearly basis earlier the interest was compounded on a yearly basis now it is compounded on a half yearly basis let's consider an example principal equals to 5000 rupees rate equals to 10% time equals to 1 and a half year and here the question is of half yearly so in half yearly what do we have to do the rate becomes half half of 10% is 5% so 5% would be our rate per half year and time becomes double one and a half year become three half years okay so now by applying the formula p into 1 plus r by 100 to the power t here in place of r we'll be writing 5% and in place of time we'll be writing 3 on simplifying we can take the lcm and write this as 21 by 20 and since it is cube so we are multiplying it three times all the zeros gets cancelled away here we have 5 into 21 becomes 105 and 21 square is 441 and in the denominator 2 into 2 into 2 we have 8 now we have to multiply 105 with 441 and divide the answer by 8 so after calculation we get the amount as 4578.125 rupees this is our amount so compound interest becomes amount minus principal that is 5,788.125 minus 5,000, which gives us 788.125 rupees. This is our compound interest on the half yearly basis. In half yearly, what are we doing? In the rate becomes half and the time becomes double. Okay, the rate is reduced to half and the time becomes double. Why is that so? 
because in half yearly see in a complete year there are two half years so we have to double the time and the rate is then reduced to half 